Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to present the second part of the past simple tense lesson. I have already uh, posted a video in which I presented the simple past tense with uh, affirmative and negative uh, forms. Today I'm going to uh, present the lesson of interrogative form. Here I have a remark concerning this lesson. I'm not going to focus on WH questions. I'm going to focus only on yes or no questions to not make my pupils get confused. Uh, so the framework that I'm going to apply for my lesson is PPU. As I always say, the first P stands for presentation. Of course, we have the first P which stands for preparation. You're going to prepare your pupils for uh, the presentation phase. Then in the presentation phase, you're going to uh, write your examples and make your pupils isolate, analyze. So as you may notice, uh, PSP is part of uh, PPU framework. Uh, so then you move to practice. In which you are going to provide your pupils with activities and then finally you have the use phase in which you uh, make your pupils be creative be independent and rely on themselves to uh, do the activity or to invest prior knowledge in order to uh, communicate uh, then uh, the objective of my lesson uh, by the end my pupils will be able to ask about past events using the interrogative form of the past simple tense here if you want to precise to talk to to ask or to talk about here it's better to say to ask because it's interrogative form to ask about old lifestyles you're really free i just wanted to uh, make my lesson like exhaustive not just like um, applied on uh, the old lifestyle so here it's to ask about past events in general um, you are going to start your lesson of course with um, uh, something that like, eases the atmosphere of the classroom and uh, uh, make your pupils feel at ease and feel relaxed which is a warm-up here in the warm-up you're going to play the game you want just choose a game which has a relationship with your lesson then i'm going to introduce my grammar lesson uh, with a reading skill uh, here i'm going to first ask my pupils to tell me uh, about things they did in the past why not talking about their childhood memories and then i'm going to distribute handouts containing a uh, text uh, and i'm going to uh, ask them questions about the text so the questions that I'm going to ask are going to serve me for my uh, presentation phase. Uh, after they read the text, I'm going to ask them, was life simple in the past? Did they work hard? What did they eat? And did they have a small house? Here you can notice that I have asked a variety of questions. Question with verb to be, question with verb uh, to work, which is a regular verb, question with verb to have, which is an irregular verb, and quest WH question. But I'm going to focus only on yes or no questions. In the presentation phase, I'm going to write the date, sequence to lesson, and I'm going to leave the title of the lesson empty and I'm going to write my examples highlighting the verb the subject and so on here I am going to uh, write a question with verb to be and a question with verb to have and I'm going to show my pupils that we have like we have of course two types of questions like yes or no question and wh question and you say they're going to focus on yes or no question of course after interacting and i wanted to introduce uh, a question with auxiliary with auxiliary to be which has like a specific rule compared to the other verbs i have uh, used here verb to have to show uh, my pupils that verb to have is not considered as an auxiliary in english but it is like classified as the other verbs but it is like an irregular verb uh, of course, uh, after I write the examples, I'm going to interact with my pupils. Are these sentences in the past simple or in the present? What is the form of the sentences? Questions, affirmative, and so on. What is the ver where are the verbs? Uh, what is the difference between verb to be or auxiliary to be and to have? What about the answers? And I'm going to explain that when we ask a question with verb or with auxiliary to be, we don't need to do means you're going to ask the question with to be and answer with to be and even the but the other verbs including to have we need did in the past of course and you explain that it's the, the auxiliary to do and you explain that there is a difference between to do as a verb and to do as an auxiliary and you uh, talk of course about the short answers and you write on the board that the first one is a yes or no question just like the other one 
just like the second one but we have in the answers uh, they are both short answers you have yes and we have on also no so you mentioned no and you mentioned that not we added to was or is and you mentioned that not we added to was or where uh, and you mentioned the pronouns that are used with where and for the second case we need did for the positive or for the negative short answer after we explain all this you are going to move to practice my first act of course you are going to write the title of the lesson you are going to make my your pupils deduce the title of the lesson uh, then you move to practice the first activity in practice is going to be a form based activity in which your pupils are going to uh, focus on the structure or on the order of the sentences here i have introduced an interrogative uh, sentence with to be a short answer with to be a positive short answer then uh, a question with to eat which is an irregular verb and uh, an answer a negative answer negative short answer in the second activity uh, also, it is like a form based because you know, this kind of lessons we really need to make our pupils practice uh, and like work on the accuracy. So, uh, here I'm going to ask my pupils to stop to spot the mistakes, then they're going to correct them. And this activity is very, very useful for the interrogative uh, form of, uh, of tenses. Then I move to the third activity, which is a meaning-based activity. I'm going to ask my pupils to match the house. They have to understand in order to do this activity. After that, I move to the use phase. In the use phase, I'm going to ask my pupils, of course, to reinvest their prior knowledge in order to uh, either complete a dialogue or uh, ask questions or whatever. Here, I'm going to ask my pupils to ask questions. Of course, I uh, precise your questions have to be yes or no questions. Whenever you see a verb to be, you have to ask the question with verb to be. Whenever you see another verb, you need did. That's what you have to tell to your pupils. Uh, and then you're going to like write the sentences or distribute handouts as you like. Uh, here you introduce regular verb, an irregular verb, and a verb to have to make the difference between to be and to have, and of course uh, auxiliary to be. Thank you so much my dear followers for watching this video. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Take care of yourselves. Goodbye.